I'm going to show the release. So it goes here, here. How to release a golf club. Okay, Ed, so this is something that comes up quite often. We're trying to train people to pivot and to try to take the hands and arms out of it, right? So you can build some trust and some foundations on how you get around the corner, but yes. that's not the full package. And that's not the end of the line. No, that's, it's not. That's just developing body motions. So now as we want to get energy out into this thing so we can send it, we want to put that, we want to, we want to mash that golf ball. We've got to learn how to get rid of angles. Mm -hmm. So that's, in our, in our language, the release or a release is getting rid of the angles that we've created, right? So as we've made a backswing, we've, we've set these levers, we've added in trail wrist extension and whatever that's done to our lead wrist, yeah. you know, whether it depends on how we grip it. So that's too complicated to get into right this minute, but we've created an angle. Okay. Yes. Now, as we swing down, we want to use our body to transport the angle, but we want to let the angle out Correct. at some point. So what is happening there? Well, as we're starting to, in our transition, as we start down and we have extension in that trail wrist, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get around the corner and not roll release it this way because then that kicks path out and too much face rotation. We're trying to get around the corner and let this thing go this way because we release our angles in this fashion, not this fashion. Yeah, so I wanted to talk about that. Historically, in golf instruction, we've been taught that we want to get the club toe up, toe up. What does that require of me? A lot of roll and lots of face rotation. So a lot of forearm roll and a lot of face rotation. Yeah. That's a timing based thing, right? Very much. So can that be done? Yes, you, you can be. You can get really good at it. There have been plenty of tour players throughout history who have done it. Right. Now, that's their full-time job. They practice a lot. There's a lot of timing. They better have good tempo, good rhythm, and they better practice a lot so they maintain that. Right. Now, our preference would be to kind of move away from the rolling type release and into more of a pattern where our trail wrist goes into extension with minimal forearm roll and goes from extension to flexion. So it does this, somewhat like what other sports do we see that pattern happening in? Oh my gosh. Like all of them? It's darn near. So, shooting a hoop. Yep. You don't do this. No, you, you don't, you don't do no. that to shoot a hoop. Throwing a ball. If I'm throwing a fastball, my wrist works like this. Yes. Now, that's not the only pitch that pitchers throw. Yeah. <laughs> they are constantly spinning the ball, but if I want the ball to fly relatively flat and straight, it's this pattern. It's this pattern. If I want to curve it, yeah. now I can I can do other things. Correct. Okay. Well, ideally, we kind of want our golf ball to go kind of straight. I think. Yeah, preferable. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Unless we're in trouble, then we want to curve it. Yeah. So we do. We don't want to hang on to these angles forever, though. No. No. The idea, and I think a lot of people get that as a misnomer. They they see uh, us do foundation ones and twos, and they say, well, there's no pop in the bat, and that they're trying to get you guys. Oh, they're just trying to make you hold on to the angles. Well, okay, when you're painting by the numbers and beginning to understand how the body actually pivots, yeah, maybe I'll agree to you. But in reality, that's yeah. not what happens. We want you to learn how to move because most people are applying this pattern. Right? right? Yep. So in an effort to kind of delete that pattern and hit the reboot button, we say, okay, hands and arms, off. Yeah. Let's turn the body on for a minute. Okay, now let's get the hands and arms back in. Now here's a question for you. I get this all the time. How do you release? We understand that we're going from extension to flexion, but is this something that's muscular? Am I physically pushing that golf club to make it go? No. No. No, no you're not. If I'm driving the body by my pivot, and as this starts to stop and push away, then that will happen. But you're never going to, unless you're, if you're hands and arms driven, that's different. If you're hands and arms, yes, you're going to manually manipulate it, but then I'm not moving my body. Yeah. That's why we learn to do foundation ones and twos. Perfect. And if our pivot is working properly and there is no real tension in the system, this unwinds, right? Absolutely. I really can't keep it from it because the way that things work is I 
am loading down into the ground and turning the corner, when I begin to post on this front leg and push myself up, back, and away, it puts some torques into the grip, right? Absolutely. Voila, the thing releases. It's something I've really never thought about. I've never thought about trying to make my hands go like that. But if you film it, they go. They yeah. go pretty fast. Yeah, they do. So that's what's happening. And your hands are a reaction of your body pivot. Yeah, exactly. Because your body pivots at a very, very quick rate. Uh -huh. And it has no chance. You know, we know that the club actually gains weight in space, right? And that, honestly, unless you potentially break your wrist or you're, you're an incredibly strong person, which is pretty rare. It's hard to hold it off. That if you're pivoting hard and pushing away, you're not going to be able to hold that off. If you go slow, maybe. But as we speed up the machine, it starts to unwind yeah. on its own power. Yeah, absolutely. Now the key is getting it to unwind correctly so that we don't introduce too much twist into the equation. Right. Okay. And to get that, we want to invite you all over to MiloLinesGolf.com. So we're going to create a series on how to train this release pattern. There you go. But we wanted to throw this out there so you can see what our preferred release looks like. Right. I'm going to show the release. So it goes here, here. So we hope you like this video. If you have, subscribe to the channel and come visit us at MiloLinesGolf.com for more details on how to do it yourself.